Longtime tennis star Roger Federer saying his final competition will be at the Laver Cup in London next week. The news comes just two weeks after another legend of tennis, Serena Williams, completed in her, competed, excuse me, in her last U.S. Open. Federer had this to say about his retirement. This is a bittersweet decision because I will miss everything the tour has given me. But at the same time, there is so much to celebrate. The last 24 years on tour have been an incredible adventure. While it sometimes feel like it went by in 24 hours, it has also been so deep and magical that it seems as if I've already lived a full lifetime. Let's bring in Dan Kaplan to reflect on Federer's incredible career. Dan is a senior business writer at The Athletic. Dan, good morning. So walk us through the legacy he is leaving behind here. What made him such a special player, both in his moments of victory and moments of defeat? He is an athlete after all. So many of us remember him crying on the court at Wimbledon, winning and losing at Wimbledon. Will His last uh, big match at Wimbledon was against Novak Djokovic in the 2019 final. And he lost, he had two match points on his racket and he lost that. And he was crying and he, he was just such a star. He was so elegant, his, the aesthetic of watching him. He was beautiful. He, he was like a dancer on the court. Uh, the fans loved him. He was an international global superstar. Perhaps the most fascinating stat of, of all is in his 1,526 overall matches, he never retired from one of them once. Wow. And Dan, Federer was not always calm and collected as a player. No. We, we see that today many times. Remind us, though, of his early years and when he did see a shift in his style of play. Well, um, in his early years, he was somewhat of a hothead. He would smash rackets. He would scream. Uh, behavior we, we see from s several stars today, like Nick Kyrgios. Um, he started to get it together in 2001 when he defeated Pete Sampras at Wimbledon in the fourth round, but he really got it together when his longtime coach died in a car accident in South Africa. And he, he, he became calm and elegant on the court. He didn't get frustrated, at least outwardly, and that, that, that changed his whole approach to the game. Uh, and yes, he had some playing style changes over the years. His backhand became more aggressive later in his career. There was the Federer charge later in his career where he would come in on the second serve and rush the net. So he, he was, even though he was winning slams, he was adaptable later in his career. Adaptable, an important trait of a, any athlete. And as we mentioned earlier, his last competition will be the Labor Cup. Federer is scheduled mm -hmm. to play on Team Europe with Nadal and uh, Jovovich and Andy Murray. These are some of the greatest players of our generation. So how have they all pushed each other towards greatness? And what do you expect to see from them? Well, uh, the Labor Cup is an exhibition. It's uh, it, they, the players do take it seriously. Federer, by the way, owns part of the Labor Cup. It's his his par partial creation with his agent Tony Gotsik. Um, I look, there'll be a lot of emotion in London. It's, it's the last time we'll see uh, Federer on a court, at least in, the, in a semi-competitive situation like this. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of honors, uh, awards given, uh, but um, I, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.